You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We have a fantastic opportunity, a retreat for older adults. Uh, we'll share with you this morning. Looking forward to learning more about that taking place right here in the Midwest, uh, not too far from St. Louis. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin, for your support of the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining us in studio this morning, the Reverend James and Pearl River. They're on the planning committee for the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat, which normally takes place about every 18 months here in the Midwest. Uh, uh, schedule's a little changed, but we are so glad to hear that the retreat is happening this year. Pastor James and Pearl, thanks so much for joining us here in on Thank the you. Coffee Hour. Thank, Thank you, you, Andy. So nice. tell us why have a, a retreat for older adults. I mean, if you're older adults and you're retired, retired, it's always a retreat, right? <laughs> Every day is Saturday, We'd right? Like to think so. <laughs> we wonder how we had time to work. <laughs> right. Well, you know, the older adults are a vital part of our 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 uh, church today, and always have been. And there's such a large range of older adults because mm -hmm. you can you could start at age 55 or even earlier than that and go all the way up into 85 or 90 and people are very active today so you've got a large number of various um, uh, people who could who could be very influential in the church and active in the church yet um, different degrees of active activity so we like to give them something that they can grow in their faith and and also to um, I'll be able to share with one another ideas and thoughts that uh, they can take back to their congregations or their facilities, wherever they might be. What kinds of, of themes or topics uh, do you typically cover at these retreats? I'm, I'm guessing it's it's going to be a little bit different than maybe a national youth gathering. Um, <laughs> what, kinds of, what kinds of things right. do you typically <laughs> cover in these retreats? Well, it's similar in that it works that way, uh, like a national youth retreat. I've been involved in those over the years, and uh, where we have keynote speakers, for instance, and uh, uh, break-off groups and small groups. Um, our topics uh, kind of cover different areas. Some are more light. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we even have a swimming activity for those who want to do that, but uh, <laughs> we have uh, areas on uh, for instance, this year, um, Representative John Chimpkus is going to be there from uh, Southern Illinois. He's retired now, but he will be there too. Uh, and his topic is, uh, uh, what is it again, uh, Pearl? Uh, Do we really hate each other that much? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it might be kind of interesting. But then the keynote speaker for this year is... Uh, um, Dr. Rich, Dr. Rich Bimler, Bimler. and uh, of course he's written a lot of uh, material for older adults now. He used to be very involved with youth ministry years ago, but and the uh, Wheat Ridge Foundation and so on. And he's quite humorous also. He's a keynote speaker. And then for our Bible study, we're going to have uh, Professor Jeff Gibbs from the hmm. seminary, and he'll be uh, uh, leading us in that, the... Uh, second day and uh, so uh and then we have our uh let, i'm gonna let pearl give you some of the uh various we have 16 workshops that are planned for the day and a half uh, retreat and then so we go to different people that uh, we know that can lead on different topics and that way when attendees uh, register for the retreat they can choose one of the four for each session on each day. So there's just so much that you can uh, take in, you know, in, in a retreat like this. Um, we always start with a devotion, and um, then after breakfast uh, on, well, the first morning you, there isn't breakfast. Uh, you can come and have it at the at Pere Marquette uh, State Park. The lodge is uh, the setting for, you know, for our retreat. And um, then there are, we all meet in a big room for the main presentation or the main speaker, who is uh, Dr. Richard Bimler. And um, 
some of the topics that they can choose from, for example, would be one that uh, Rich Bimler will be leading that um, focuses on older adult models. And then we have a lady from uh, Better Business Bureau that's representing or talking about what scammers don't want you to know. Hmm. And seeing Jesus through words in creative writing workshop with Reverend Dr. Travis Scholl. That's uh, the four that, you know, for the first session on, on uh, Wednesday. Our retreat is always held during the week so that uh, those retirees that can attend can have a um, more economical break, you know, on uh, lodging and uh, for the retreat itself. Um, we have another couple who's doing a retreat or doing a topic on uh, a vision at home and abroad. Spotlight on China, that's uh, Todd and Jan Lutke. Uh, faith stories, leave a legacy that matters. Uh, protect yourself in a digital world, even if you think you don't live there. But that's Sarah Wetzel. She is also with Better Business Bureau. Um, see me in the pool and catch the splash. That's uh, the swimming session that you can attend if you like. And then on Thursday, we have two sessions, um, again, presented um, in the morning. Both of them are before lunch. Uh, there, again, are four topics to choose from. And uh, um, we have then in thir the second one is uh, Thursday from 10 till 11. So it's just packed with uh, speakers and leaders that uh, know their subjects and love to you know, share with us. And most of us regret that we don't have enough time to, to get to all the ones we want to attend. <laughs> it's exciting. Other other interesting speakers, for instance, are uh, Mary, Mary uh, Mance Simon, who's written many children's books, but she also has done some things now with older adults. And um, also uh, Reverend Robert we uh, Weiss, who is... Uh, professor Emeritus from Concordia Seminary, and he's going to be discussing a little bit, I believe, on uh, like the gender, transgender, transgender mm -hmm. movement mm -hmm. and so forth <laughs> uh, that's going on in our, our country and so on. And I think he's even going to have a session, uh, kind of a question and answer session later on in the evening so that the people can ask questions in that area. Um so there, and I think we even have one of the dogs there, don't we? Yes, one the one, the one from Collinsville. Uh, from Collinsville. One of the comfort Mary, dogs. Mary comfort Birch. dogs, yeah. <laughs> right. So it's all sorts of things. And then in addition to that, of course, we are at uh, Pierre Marquette State Park. So you have, people have the opportunity, they can walk around outside or even take a hike if, they, if they're in that kind of a... Um, physical condition that they'd like mm -hmm. to do so plus there's also an interpretive center there at the at the um, um, visitor center visitor center where you can um, check out uh, the eagle nests and so forth of the area and so there's all sorts of things that are available how long have you been involved with the lutheran older adult retreat well jim and i were invited to come back in 2008 and the first year, we just kind of, or the first few months, I should say, we just kind of tried to understand what was happening and how they did things as they planned for the next retreat. And so then in 2009, um, I was I became secretary of the group, and I've been secretary each year now and, and until the present time. So it's uh, it's been. You know, we've been very involved with it, but it's fun. We have always go out for lunch at, at our own expense, of course, and uh, we get to visit with each other and tell jokes and oh, <laughs> tell stories. It's just nice to have a close-knit group like that to be together with. What are some of the, the fun stories or fun memories you've had from this retreat and, and the things that have grown out of it for you? Well, one of them that I remember is that we invited a couple from a church that we were at uh, previously in earlier in uh, um, 2093 to 213, 2013, um, from Mexico, Missouri. 
and the couple that we invited were ones that we had become close friends with, but they were not a members of our church. They weren't Lutheran. But later, the husband did become the secretary after I retired from there. At that and, church. And uh, mm-hmm. he and his wife came to the retreat a number of times, and they just loved the the presenters and uh, listening to, you know, the dif- different topics and the main speaker. And when sometimes, you know, they'd just go out on the veranda and sit in one of the comfortable lawn chairs and look at the river going by and they just loved it in fact they took um a presentation back to the church the lutheran church and uh presented it to the older adult group there even though they weren't actually (laughs) lutheran (laughs) but uh you know anyone is welcome to attend you don't have to be lutheran to attend the the lutheran older retreat well, we have more to learn about the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat, including the setting, the, the location for this. We'll learn more about that in just a little bit. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. This week on Issues Etc., we'll discuss the 20th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks with Dr. Gene Edward Veith. We'll study the hymn, Lord of Glory, You Have Bought Us, with Pastor Will Whedon. And we'll talk with Dr. Mary Graybar about debunking the 1619 Project. Issues Etc., live weekday afternoons from 3 to 5 on KFUO. On Monday's Law and Gospel, we will be examining a reading from the passages chosen for the following Sunday with the intent to learn what the verses say about Jesus and also to be comforted with the gospel message of how the life and sufferings of our Lord provide us with both the forgiveness of sins and the robe of righteousness. Listen to Law and Gospel weekday mornings beginning at 930 on KFUO. Welcome back to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We're learning about the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat coming up October 14th and 15th right here in the Midwest in Grafton, Illinois. Today we're talking with Pastor James and Pearl River. They're on the planning committee for the Lutheran Older Retreat, uh, the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat, which is uh, actually sponsored by both Southern Illinois District and Missouri District. Is that correct? Correct. That is correct. It, uh, the date is wrong. Oh, I'm Andy. sorry. Look, what it is the correct date? It's October 20th and 21st. I apologize. All day on Wednesday and then uh, part of the day on on Thursday. October 20th and 21st. 20th and 21st. want to make mm-hmm. sure we get that right information right. out to our listeners. Right. So thanks so much for correcting me on that. Um, so October 20th and 21st, that's a Wednesday, did you say? A Wednesday, right? Wednesday and a Thursday. Mm-hmm. And that's taking place at uh, at Pier Marquette. Tell us about Pier Marquette Lodge in Grafton, Illinois, and the, the park there. It is a wonderful setting. The river is uh, right in front of the lodge, um, that you can see, you know, from the motel type rooms that are provided at the lodge, we stay overnight. Um, the committee members go up usually on Tuesday night and stay on Wednesday night also, and um, it uh, allows us the time to get away from our regular things and go to a beautiful setting where it, nature is the emphasis. Um, we have gone on different little side trips to watch for eagles. The scenery coming up here along the river road is just gorgeous, or to Pere Marquette. And um, they have a visitor center available where you can go in on your own and watch three DVDs. And mm-hmm. uh, they even have a, an eagle's nest on display in there that you can see. And there are a number of walking trails, too, if, if you like to get into walking. And we usually take a ride along the back road that goes up uh, along the bluff and overlooks the river. Just a beautiful setting. Mm -hmm. How is a setting like this uh, especially wonderful (laughs) after maybe 
a, a hard year and a half uh, for a lot of people. Right. Oh, for sure. That's that's for sure. And um, it's also, uh, uh, I think, fun to uh, <clears throat> recognize that you're you're just out there with God's creation. And um, it's uh, just a, a beautiful setting. Uh, the inside of the lodge also has some interesting things. They have a <laughs> a large uh, chessboard that is all hand uh, carved, and it's almost life size mm-hmm. uh, in the uh, one section there. Uh, they have places where you can sit down. Uh, sometimes somebody will bring a guitar and. And uh, sit around and play guitar and listen. Uh, you can listen to the music there. And um, they mm. also have a wine um, tasting place there where you can enjoy a glass of wine if you like. Also, a, a visitor center where they sell, uh, you know, various uh, uh, souvenirs from the area. Um, it's just a unique place. Uh, as you mentioned before about the swimming, they have an excellent swimming pool. And um, some of the people go in there and enjoy it, too. I, I was never much of a swimmer. And we should clarify, it's an indoor pool. Yeah, an indoor, indoor pool, pool. That's <laughs> correct. Right. It's an indoor pool. Right. Um, oh, it's so nice to be in that uh, tub that they have in there. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times and been in the pool, too. Some of our guests have actually brought their uh, recreational vehicles and will actually camp out uh, rather than stay in the lodge. Um, so you can do that, too, if, if someone has a may have an area vehicle. designated for camp, for campers. They also have an, a couple out, outside cabins that uh, you can also request and, and stay in those. So it's kind of interesting. So lots of uh, a couple of different ways to enjoy your stay for the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat taking place at Pier Marquette uh, Lodge and, and State Park in Grafton, Illinois. It's a beautiful setting. So you can, um, in terms of lodging, you could stay at the lodge. You mentioned there are cabins or camping options as well if you want to bring your RV along and camp there as well. So how do we how do we find out more? How do we register for this event so that we can be a part of the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat? Basically, we have... Uh, uh, the online uh, opportunity to go to the website for uh, Missouri, if you are from Missouri. And that website is uh, um, M, I'm sorry, um, mo.lcms.org. And then go to events and that will bring up all the details that including the registration form that's needed, uh, you know, to be able to attend. You do register. Have, there is a registration fee of $100, and that uh, covers all the meals and activities that we have. You know, we have a, have entertainment and all of the presenters. And so we just, uh, it's not, you know, it, it's, we keep it as economical as possible. And the meals are excellent. <laughs> They're known for their fried chicken, so that's always one of our main meals. The uh, other website uh, from Southern Illinois is www.sidlcms.org. And there again, just go to the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat, or we call it LURE for short. <laughs> and, then, and then there is a telephone number of uh, our member of our board, Margot Wolf, she uh, will take uh, registrations um, over the phone if you would uh, like to do that. Um, just a second, I'll find her <laughs> at her <laughs> phone so, number. It, it, it's in the, if you go online to the website, then it gives you that information. But otherwise, um, for questions about it, contact Margot Wolf. W O L F and her phone number is 618-979-3376. She also has an email address uh if uh you'd like to contact her that way. It's D M W V E T T E 74 at gmail.com. That's D M W V E T T E seventy four at 
gmail.com. She'll get you set up so that you uh, can register for the retreat, and then you make a separate call to um, the lodging to the lodge for lodging uh, reservations, and that's Per Marquette Lodge, and that's in Grafton, Illinois, and their number is six one eight seven eight six two three three one. That's six one eight seven eight six two three three one. So make your reservation that way. You'll have a wonderful time. It'll grow in your faith, have fun and fellowship. Everybody likes to visit with each other at mealtime. And we have uh, free time in the evening after everything's over that many sit around and play cards or other games that they bring along themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll put all of that, uh, all that registration info into the show notes for today's episode too, in case you, you. in case you didn't have a, okay. a pen handy to write down those phone numbers, those will be available in the show notes. Um, and I'm looking through the the brochure for this, and it, I mean, I'm I don't fall into this age range, but man, this looks like a really great retreat. So so many good things. Um, talk about the the theme. I don't think we've talked about the theme yet for this <laughs> retreat. Tell us about the theme for this year's. Well, the theme is. Um... 2020 perfect cross-eyed vision it was designed especially because last year was 2020 but 2020 also <laughs> refers to vision mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so we thought uh, it's timely no matter what what year you do it in so um, the the perfect cross-eyed vision of course is uh, seeing Christ in everything that you do um, that everything focuses back on the importance of Jesus as our Savior. I'd also I'd like to also say one other thing about each year we have a theme song that's uh, been written uh, the last few years by um, Mr. Jim Rowe. Unfortunately, Jim was called home this past year, but fortunately he wrote the song before hmm. he passed away and uh, i'd like to just give out a thank you to him over over the air and we know that we'll keep him in our memories because hmm. he's done such a great job he would he would write a song and then um use a tune that was familiar to us in the church and uh, some of our other members are um don halby mary heron Reverend Dr. Richard Labor, Bob and Pat List, my husband and I, and Dan Roth, Dan and Margot Wolf, and Reverend Dr. Bob Weiss. Ruth Hauser has been on this committee since it began in 1993. <laughs> and she is in uh, recovering in a care center. She may be home at this time. I'm, I haven't checked today. And, um, of course, uh, Jim Rowe's wife, Linda Rowe, is still on the committee, too. We each have different uh, roles as we serve on, on this to to plan for the next one, next retreat. So, so we mentioned the, the we've talked about the theme and the opportunities to learn and grow together and for fellowship at this uh, Lutheran Older Adult Retreat taking place at Mir Pier Marquette Lodge in Grafton, Illinois, coming up October uh, That's uh, 20th and 21st. For listeners not familiar with Pier Marquette and how to get there and the setting, it's a little it's a little removed from everything else, isn't it? So, um, just say from like the St. Louis area, how long would it take to get there typically? Well, we we live in South County, St. Louis, and it takes us about an hour to get up there, and uh, it's not bad. In fact, one of the greatest uh, parts of the trip is the river road mm -hmm. going from uh, Alton up to Grafton which is probably one of the most scenic highways in southern Illinois. And especially this time of year. Oh, yes. Hopefully it'll be beautiful. In October, beautiful. it should when be very beautiful. When those colors change and the eagles come back more so in the fall. And, of course, those who come from Illinois come from various places. And um, But it is right along Highway 
uh, one hundred Grafton uh, toward uh, north of Grafton, about uh, five miles, I think it's about five miles near the Brussels Ferry, which is mm-hmm. another little side trip if you'd want to take it while you're up that way. Right, and if I remember, we only have a few seconds left, but if I remember correctly, uh, it's been a few years since I've been there, but uh, don't plan on having cell phone service the entire time you're there. Is that still true? <laughs> That's correct. That is true. <laughs> It's kind of a, a nice remote location to get away right. and disconnect from everything. Well, right. I have been, I, I've enjoyed learning about the Lutheran Older Adult Retreat with you all today and uh, so thankful that you had some time to share with us about this. And God's blessings on the upcoming retreat, October 20th and 21st. We'll share the, the links in the notes as well today. Thanks so much Thank to you. the Rivers for being our guest today. Thank you, Andy. Thank you very much, Andy. You've been listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. <laughs> The Coffee Hour with Andy and Sarah is a production of KFUO. To support the Coffee Hour and KFUO Radio, visit KFUO.org. You can also text KFUO to 41444 or send an email to gifts at KFUO.org. And you can call us at 800-844-0524. KFUO. Christ for you anytime, anywhere.